This is so unfair. Life is being unfair to me. What did I do to deserve this? I wish I had more attention. Dora. We have come to take our final decision. We cannot keep you anymore. You are a huge troublemaker. Besides, you make us feel like we are bad parents. Get out of my home right now. With pleasure. Oi. What are you still doing here? Get out of my way, Grandma. I hope I never see you again. Time to start a new life. This is really uncomfortable. But until I find a home, I guess I'll have to stay here. And just what do you think you're doing here? Oh, nothing. I just felt tired and came here. Aren't you supposed to be at school? And where are your parents? I don't have any parents anymore. I was kicked out of the house, and I can't go to school. Please help me. Come with me, young girl. We will fix this. I promise. Dora, I understand how difficult your situation must be, but please, you must cooperate. Now tell me, what are the names of your parents? Cole and Delayna Marquez. Thank you. Dora, listen to me. You are safe from your parents. I promise that I will help you to find a new family. Okay. Is it true that you grounded Dora for an exaggerated long time, never seeked help, tried to jail her, and threw her out of the house? Yes. I admit to this. Is it true that you took advantage of Dora's misbehavior, and didn't actually care for your daughter? Yes, it's true. I'm sorry, but you and your wife are under arrest. Thank you so much for helping me to find a new family. If only I could make up for it. Thank you so much, officer. Yeah, many thanks to you. You're welcome. It's the least that I could do. Now it's time for us to find you a new school. Do you like school, Dora? If you want me to be honest, not really. Whenever it comes to school work, I don't like it. Also, in my old school, I was a troublemaker, but everything is bound to change. I've learned my lessons. Yep. When I was your age, I used to say the same thing, but now, I'm glad that I had a good education, and we're ready to give you that experience. Are you excited for this new chapter in your life? Yes. Yeah, that was so funny. Hey listen, are you going to the graduation after party tomorrow? Great. See you then. Hey Dora, I'm finally back from work. I'm so exhausted. Wanna eat something? I'm soon going to cook for dad. Yeah, you look so exhausted. Also, I just ate a pizza around an hour ago. So I'm still full. By the way, don't forget that tomorrow night is the graduation after party. Don't worry. How can I forget when you keep reminding me about it every day? I can't believe you're finally graduating from college. Me either. I couldn't have done this without you. I was on the phone with Jordan, and she told me that she has a surprise for me. I can't wait to see what it is. Maybe she found you a date. So what was that surprise you were telling me about over the phone? You'll soon know. But hey, I think I can find you a date. What do you think of the guy with the glasses and the t-shirt over there? Let's see. Oh yeah, that's Keith. He was in my class. I wonder what they've been laughing about this whole time. We're soon gonna see them on the floor with all that laughter. Well, not gonna lie. He's cute. I've been crushing on him for a while. But remember that guy I had told you about, Kyle? I'm still determined to find him. I still love him. I knew you would say that. Look over there. What do you think about him now? Oh my god. There he is. Still hot as hell. Look at him talking to Carl. How did you know that Kyle would be here? I'll explain everything later. I promise. Just go up to him and break the ice once again. Jordan. OMG. I love you. Thank you so much. I can't believe I'm seeing Caillou after all of this time. I'm going up to him right now. I think she's coming. Good luck bro. 
Go get yourself the girl you deserve. Thanks man. I feel so nervous. The last time I saw her we were so young. What if she doesn't remember me? What if she doesn't like me anymore? Quick, you better leave, she's coming. Caillou. Oh my god. It really is you. How are you? It's been so long. How did you know I would be here? Is this the surprise Jordan told me about? Wow. You actually remember me. I didn't expect that. I wonder if you still like me. When we last tried to go on a date, we were just young kids. Everything has changed now. You probably have a boyfriend. No, I don't have a boyfriend. But I do remember you. I didn't commit myself to anyone, just because I remembered you, and hoped that one day you would show up. I can't believe it. I've spent all of this time looking for you. Wanna know something? When Jordan, my cousin, told me about you, I felt so relieved. I couldn't believe I had found you. What? Jordan is your cousin and she never told me? Relax. I'll tell you how it all happened. It's true that we were both troublemakers when we were young, but some weeks after we had dated as young kids, I couldn't take any more of my family, and I ran away from home. I really wanted to find you. I even went to your house, and your grandma opened the door for me. She told me that you and your parents had moved somewhere else, in a very sad tone. I was shocked and sad, I wanted to find you. I looked everywhere. But it was all for nothing. My parents didn't even try to find me. It's like they had forgotten that I existed. I spent nights at the bus stop trying to get shelter, and later, I found out about the subway, and started to sleep there. One day, a couple saw me, and asked if I needed anything. They always brought me something to eat or drink. Until one day, they decided to take me with them, and started the process to adopt me. To this very day, I don't know what happened to my parents and my sister. I just hope that someday, they'll admit for their mistakes, and apologize. My childhood was rough. My new parents focused more on improving my behavior and education. I even moved schools. It was rough. But I got used to it. I graduated from college just a few days ago. It's too bad that we never ended up in the same college. Recently, you mentioned me with your friend Jordan, right? Well, it turns out that she's the niece of my adoptive mother. I've always considered her as my cousin. When she told me about you, I was super happy. She decided that I should surprise you right here. What can I say? She was correct. From what you've just told me, you must have been through much more than I've been through. But I'll explain everything later. Always know that I'm here for you. No matter what. Thank you so much Dora. I love you. I love you too. Wanna go for a walk? Sure. That'll make me happy. That's the spirit. Come on. Let's go. And that is my story. Dora. Will you marry me? Yes. Oh my god Caillou. This is the happiest moment of my life ever since I found you again. I can't believe this is happening. Dinner will soon be served. Sorry for the delay, but I'm a bit worried. John hasn't come from work yet. Hey guys. Sorry for being late, but I had an important task to do. No worries. Take a seat. Dinner is almost ready. Actually mom, before we start eating, Caillou and I would like to announce something. We would like to invite our real parents to our wedding. Your parents? I know that you may not agree. But deep inside, we still feel something missing. I would love to see my family. Even if it's just for one day. Just to settle things between us. We would also like them to see how far we've come. They wouldn't believe that something like this would happen. Just like Caillou said, I understand if you don't agree with us. I'm sorry. I just wasn't expecting that. This is your wedding, and it's your decision. You know we always let you take your own decisions. This is one of those situations. Of course, in my opinion, there may be some risks, but at the end of the day, you have to decide about what you want. I agree with you. I will pass on the message. We, we also, also agree. Thank you so much. You guys are the best parents ever. Good luck, Dora. Thanks, Dad. You look beautiful. So do you. 
Good evening. We are here to celebrate the marriage of Caillou and Dora. Do you, Dora, take Caillou to be your lovely wedded husband? Yes, I do. Do you, Caillou, take Dora to be your lovely wedded wife? Yes, I do. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Mum, Dad, Rosie, where have you been after all of this time? Unfortunately, we were being monitored because of our actions towards you. We were also forced to move out of the city. When we heard that we were invited to the wedding, we were so happy. We couldn't believe that our son accepted us when we didn't accept you, and ignored you for almost all of our lives. Just like you, I was adopted, but I moved to another city, just like mom and dad. If you want to know the truth, I actually missed you. Let us leave some room for other people to talk to you. We will be outside. Oh look, Leo and Clementine. You actually managed to make it. Why wouldn't we? We're your childhood friends. I still can't believe that you and Dora got married. By the way, you and Dora are invited to our wedding. Wow. Congratulations. Miss Martin, you managed to make it. I'm glad. Do you still remember me? How could I ever forget you? Yes. I do remember the naughty boy that I used to have in class. I'm glad that you've changed. Do you have a job? Not as of yet, but as from the next scholastic year, I shall start working as an English teacher in a high school. Wow. I did not expect you to say that. Congratulations Caillou. Mom. Dad. I'm sorry. I know you ended up where you are because of me. No, my sweet daughter. I cannot forgive myself. We were too harsh on you. We deserved this. We never tried to help you. All we cared about was for ourselves. Just know that somewhere inside of me, I still have some respect for you. Even, Even me, Dora. Dora. Oh my god. Kevin and Gina. Kevin. You're completely unrecognizable. Guess I've been doing some extra workouts. Are you guys together? Yep. We've been together since 10th grade. We're getting married in a year's time. You and Kai you were invited for sure. Thank you so much. That is very kind of you. Mrs. Christina. What a surprise. You made it to my wedding. How did you know? Ms. Martin, your husband's old teacher told me about the wedding, and Caillou gladly invited me. How are you, and what are you doing with your life? I'm fine thank you. I've been working as a social worker for two years now, and I love helping children and families so that they won't end up in the same way as me. That is very sweet, there you are. I've been looking all over the place for you. Jordan, a special thanks goes to you, for helping me find my husband. You're welcome. And I'm thankful that you managed to set me up with Keith. I love you so much sis. Come on, let's go and enjoy the party. And that is the story of how I met your mother. Wow, I'm glad that everything favored you at the end. What do you want to do now? Want to play pirates. Yeah, sure. Come on Pirate Dylan. Or, I am the captain of this ship. Show me your pirate license. I think it's time for you to walk the plank. Let us fight to see who the real pirate is. Guys, someone's gonna get hurt. Oh well. If you can't beat them, join them. This is the almighty Super Dora, ready to save the day from pirates. Whoa, Mom. That's not what we're playing. Oh come on. You're saying I'm not a good hero? I can stop you pirates. Okay then. Get that superhero, Pirate Caillou. The ship is counting on you. On your command, sir. <laughs> 